Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carly Red from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Make sure y'all watch KYSDC.com. Keep it going. You want to do that? You want to move to D.C.? I would love to get a place here. Okay, we can find you a realtor. Yeah, and while you at it, find me a, a, a baseball player or, you know, a basketball okay. player. Well, we you have, know? you know what, um, Washington Redskins, RG3, oh, RG3's married. He's married now. We sure. can't do married men. I need my blessings. Exactly. So no married guys. Married? No, no, no. Okay, well, let's go through the list of D.C. guys then that, that, that are single. That are single that you would possibly date. I am single. Date. I'm single okay, right so I'm, now. I'm just gonna I go, I go in and out. I'm one gonna, minute I'm together, one minute I'm single. I'm going to name some guys. You can just tell me yes or no. Well, I, but I don't see their faces. Okay. The Sean Jackson, the new Washington Redskin that just came from Philadelphia. How much does he make? <laughs> <laughs> How much does he make? Uh, he's, yeah. He's doing very well. Is he in my tax bracket? 40 million. Okay, yes, he's there for a different mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what about he make me speak tongues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some hands I'm going to get some hands. What about Wale? No. I love you, Wale. You're my friend. But that's just really the homie. I already been through that situation with rappers. You see what's going on? You know, I got to forgive and forget. You know, it's like, ugh. I mean, but you with Young Jock right now, so yes, I mean, I'm what? with Young Jock right now. But every minute, you know, you them, them rappers, man, they cheat on you. All of them? Yes. These rappers ain't loyal. No. None These of rappers them? ain't loyal. No. No, they're not. They okay. go for the next, to the help, to the security, to the girl that's mm -hmm. taking out the trash. You know, these rappers, I mean, I don't know about every rapper because, I, I, like I said, Wale is my homie. I love him to death. He's the homie. I respect his whole game and, and definitely love working with him. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, some of these rappers, but I could just... Okay, what about John job. Wall from the, um, the, the Wizards? John Wall. I heard he was single and available. And what did you see? What what a lot, a lot. Okay, yes, yes. A lot. A lot. <laughs> like, win like the, uh, we can the, get a condo uh, in DC together. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you know. He was yeah. the All Star Game, uh, like MVP or something. Didn't he win the slam dunk competition this year? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just don't need anyone smelling like Jock with that fishy cologne. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me this: If President Barack Obama was not uh, married. And he was a single president. Would you date him? Absolutely. That's the president. Come on now. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, I just want to, at the end of the day, I want to. Do you find him attractive physically? Yes, of course. Absolutely. Definitely. He's been working out lately. Have you even seen him trying to get his muscles up? I see him. Yeah. yeah. So why not? Absolutely. But, and no one's that, that is married, like I said. And. I am saying I am like in and out of a relationship. I want to settle down and get married. So all these men that we are discussing, they have to be ready to settle down. If they're not ready to settle down, they still want to play the field. They could go ahead and keep, you know, I have to put them on another team. Okay, so you keep mentioning money though when I, I asked you because they have. To, I mean, why would I? So you wouldn't if you. That like makes no fell sense. In love with if I'm in a certain tax bracket, you, why do I have was, to go from if, my tax bracket to another tax what if, what if What if your true love uh, is a, like a, a trash man or a mailman? He makes like $40,000. But I did that with Young Jock. <laughs> <laughs> so disrespectful. I love it. I love why it. would I like do it again? Like, oh my gosh, guys. You're asking me to like... I, I, you know, you learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. So, I can't do that again. I, I, since I learned from my you know, mistakes, and I don't want to just repeat the same mistakes that I made in the past. Okay. All right. So, I have a list of questions here that uh, I put out on Twitter that you were coming out. Yes. And so, this is my way to ask you questions and make it sound like it's not really coming from me. Okay. That's how we do that. Okay. Question number one. Uh, we already talked about Jock. Let's I didn't put on. my sunglasses on. Okay, sunglasses. The shade is just, oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Alright. Question numero uno. 
Did you really have a fling with Jeremiah while you were dating Young Jock? No, I did not. But I would love to. Oh, so you like him? Yes, I like who don't like Jeremiah. Jeremiah's fine. Jeremiah's sexy. And Jeremiah's tax bracket is definitely that of a, you know, he's in my tax bracket, so yes. Okay. So, in an interview with Hip Hop, uh, how you say this word, man? Inquirer. Yeah, Inquirer. You called him a has-been. Mm -hmm. Who are we talking about? Who else? He young has Jack? been. You're talking about Young Jack? Yes, because he has been. Okay, well, we're not talking he's about He's been young. there before. Let's, uh, oh really, he's been there. Before, you know. It's okay. been a long time. I should have met you. When I'm done, done, done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Is your uh, ass real? Yes. Because absolutely. in the past, K. Michelle said it was fake. Yes, my mm, my ass is real. But do I want to, you know, um, do something to make it even bigger? I do. And I went to the doctor to try to figure out some some way that I can. Actually, I went to K. Michelle's doctor to figure out some way that. I um, went to Dr. Jimerson. I said, Dr. Jimerson, I wanna like, I wanna get a bigger butt. He said, Well, Carly, you have to gain some weight because I have to take the weight from your stomach and put it in your ass and yes. Yeah, so. Put it in your way. That's yeah, put it in interesting. your ass. That's what he said. Put he said, it put in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so show me where the where. Stand up. Show me where the distribution is supposed to come to and go go to where. It's hold supposed on. to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I don't believe that. Come on now, look how small this ass is. No, 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 no. Turn it around. It's, yeah. It's, it's nice. not. It's yeah, nice, it's though. nice. It's a nice. It's a portionate booty. Right. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's a. I'm portion. So where are you supposed to be getting it from? I have to gain weight here, here. I have to be. You know, I have to gain weight. Okay, so, so I, you have to eat more food. How do you gain the weight? You have to eat more food. You got to sleep more. And I'm just too busy for that. I can't do that. So, till I gain weight, no booty for me. Because I, I don't plan on gaining weight anytime. So, I'm too busy. Even if I try to eat, eat I'm too busy. So, that's the natural. It's already way. what? What is it? Four o'clock in the afternoon here. And yeah. I haven't eaten yet. I've wow. been so busy. It's not good. No, it's not good. Um, my nutritional oh. habits is really bad. You gotta work on that. Yeah, I gotta work on that. So now, um, just like I gotta work on a new man. Here you go again. <laughs> well, you mentioned church, you know, and you're a God fearing woman. Absolutely. And uh, you already said that you're not interested in married men. Have you tried the church? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really not that. It's just that you know, I want to be able to just. I don't want to meet a man in church. I just want to meet a man. You know what I mean? And But the man I mean, that God has for you may be in the church. He may be a pastor. He may be a choir or uh, praise and worship dude. Or you, he could be a deacon. You never yeah, can. But you could be like, blocking you, your blessings. But they say like when you go to church, you're not going there to meet a man. So I don't go to church th thinking, I'm here to meet a man. Exactly. Ooh, I don't even put no makeup on. I don't even put no lipstick on. I just come flesh. You're seeking the Lord. Yes. So I, it's going to be hard for me to meet a man in church. Is the show more scripted now than it was before? This show has never been, this show has never been scripted. Um, actually, my drama, my drama off TV is way worse than on TV. Why do you say that? Because there's been a lot of things. You have to keep watching VH1 Love and Hip Hop. But it's been a lot of things that has happened that the show just can't keep up sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time. And um, it's crazy. So, no, it's not scripted at all. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Mom's guy. Yeah, hey, boo. Stephanie Gale, Brian Jones, whole Eastern TV. Shout out to Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I heard in another interview with uh, Nene Leakes, she said that reality TV has been a blessing and a curse for her. Mm -hmm. Can you identify with that? Would you agree or disagree? Well, yes, I can. You yes, would disagree? I no, I, no, I will agree with her. I've been certain roles. I went for a role um, for a Tyler Perry film, and they shot me down because I was on Love and Hip Hop. Really? That was the reason? Not because of your performance? No. Are you sure? They said that to you? Yeah. 
They said that to me. Did they give you a chance to and audition? There's been, uh, there's been roles that I've auditioned for, and then they found out. There's been, like, literally, I'm on my way to set to work. Got the role and everything. And then they find out I'm on the show, and they're like, I oh, know. What's the reasoning behind that? Because reality TV has been, um, you know, known to have a lot of drama and things of that nature. But, like Nene said, it also has been a blessing. And for me, uh, I, it's been a blessing, you know, because what I've been trying to do is let the work speak for itself. You know, um, my branding, whether it's be my hairline, my cosmetic line, my, my laundry line. You know, I have a movie with Chris Rock coming out. This whole sex tape thing is uh, pretty big right now. And a lot of people are using these, the uh, sex tape to become famous. Uh, we saw Kim Kardashian do it. Um, we saw um, Paris Hilton. She was already famous when she did it. Mm -hmm. um, then I guess the other girl, Mimi, she has her tape and all that other business too. Um, but I mean, I will let me stick up for Mimi. She didn't use the sex tape to become famous. She was already famous. Yeah. In your eyes. Yeah. I mean, well, come on now. We're, our show, what is it, 5.2 million viewers? That would be pretty. 5.2 million. Okay. Do you think it's worth it? I mean, Making well, the tape with her, for the fame? with her situation, it, you know, she didn't. It, the tape just came out. I have to stick up for my girl. The tape just came out. It, she didn't say, hey guys, I'm making a sex tape. You know, it just came out like that. Okay. So after the tape came out, mm -hmm. did you call her and uh, counsel her or comfort her in any Absolutely. way? Absolutely. What happened? Tell me about that conversation. Absolutely. Um, Mimi and I talk all the time. I was, I was like, Mimi, oh my God. She's like, I know. She has, she has anxiety, like I would. And I just told her, stay off of social media and keep your head up. Because they're going in on your ass, girl. <laughs> but now she goes to the club with the uh, with the with the shower curtain and everything, though, right? No. I yes, mean, she does. No.